how much quicker is Comfy UI compared to Automatic 1111 and Invoke AI when it comes to SDXL? Well, today we're going to find out. Now this is a really simple test, it's not like those gaming benchmarks, but I was really curious to see how much faster each platform was. So how I ran these tests was using the same model, MBBXL, without the refiner. For the sampler, I chose Euler Ancestral, a CFG scale of 7 in 30 steps, and I did three generations of 768 by 1024 and 1024 by 1024. My hardware is not the fastest. I have a Ryzen 5800X. It's an eight core processor, a 3060 Ti, which only has eight gigabytes of VRAM, and my system RAM has 32 gigabytes. Now I know there are variables, you can overclock stuff and get fast RAM, but I just wanted to show you what I have and what I'm using so that you can compare it to your system. Now in order for me to record the screen, I couldn't use OBS and record at the same time. That affected the times, so I had to use my camera to record my monitor. The quality isn't that great, but bear with me. Starting with Automatic 1111, we're running 768 by 1024, as you see on the screen. We're averaging about 27.33 seconds. First run was 28 seconds. The other two were 27.55, 27.44, whatever the case may be. As you see, it, it's finishing on the screen now. And uh, yeah, it's not the fastest, but it's a lot faster when SDXL first came out. Switching over to 1024 by 1024, when I first started using SDXL, I was getting about 40 to 45 seconds. Nowadays, I'm getting an average of 36. Run one, two, and three were all pretty consistent. 36.2, 36.5, it was always hovering around there. So again, it seems like they did some optimizations, but really with an eight gigabyte graphics card, eh, you're not really gonna get a lot of speed from it. Most likely you're better off using SD Next, which many say is a lot faster. I didn't test it for this video, unfortunately. When it comes to Invoke AI though, that's where I was pleasantly surprised. You see the 768 by 1024 run here, and I was averaging 18.83 seconds for Invoke AI. Quite a bit faster than Automatic 1111. It's been a joy really to use it as you see here. The three generation rounds were all consistent, 18.8, 18.9. Switching over to 1024 by 1024, the same type of thing. We were averaging about 24.44 seconds with these dimensions. I wasn't expecting it to be much faster than automatic 1111, but 24 seconds compared to 36 seconds, almost about 12 second difference there. So that was a pleasant surprise. Now, how did Comfy UI compare to the rest? For this run, the 768 by 1024 run, Comfy UI was averaging 16.16 seconds, only two seconds faster than Invoke AI, but a lot faster, I can't do the math right now, than Automatic 1111. I think it's like 11 seconds faster. At 1024 by 1024, we were averaging 21.47 seconds, just about 15 seconds faster than Automatic 1111, three seconds faster than Invoke AI. So not a lot of difference between Invoke AI. Again, it surprises me how good Invoke AI runs on my current setup. It's quite impressive to say the least. So if we look at a very simple benchmark that I did, Comfy UI is in green, Invoke AI in purple, Automatic 1111 in blue. At the very top, you see the averages for 768 by 1024, 16.16, 18.83, 27.2, 33 respectively. That's quite the jump from Automatic 1111. At 1024 by 1024, 21.47, 
24.44 and 36 seconds for automatic 11.11. I didn't go so far to do the percentages, but they're pretty high <laughs> if you compare them to automatic 11.11. Now I'm sure there are other variables that could have affected these numbers, but like I said, this wasn't really one of those hardcore tests like those gamers do. But I was just curious to see how quick they were between platforms. Everybody raves about Comfy UI and how fast it is. At the end of the day though, Invoke AI held its own. And I'm not too sure why Automatic 11.11 is so system hungry. I am curious though to check out SD Next to see how fast it is compared to Automatic 11.11. Obviously this isn't my normal type of video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, let me know in the comments below. And if you're curious about Invoke AI, make sure to check out any one of these videos. I'll see you when I see you.